My name is Laura Owen. I'm the book publishing reporter at uh, Paid Content, which is the media news website owned by GigaOM. I think that Peter Hildick Smith at the Codex Group has done some really good research on basically pointing to the fact that people still discover books through physical bookstores and that's like a very key way that they learn about new authors and new books even when they're shopping for books online you know even when they're primarily reading ebooks people still like to walk into a Barnes and Noble and they do learn about authors new authors that way and I know that you know they do because they do the same thing it's really scary to me that I covered you know the bankruptcy of one major bookstore chain last year and I'm kind of wondering if I'm going to be doing the same thing and you know I don't know next year a couple of years from now I think I'm worried about Barnes & Noble especially when we see that their digital business is splitting off but that their digital business also is not doing very well that the international expansion doesn't seem to have produced much yet and that the stores are turning into places where you know, Barnes & Noble has to sell a lot of other products like toys and games and, you know, cards and stuff like that and not just books. Um, and independents are, are great, but a lot of people, the only bookstore that they have in their community, you know, or near them is a Barnes & Noble. And, like, it's not as if, if a Barnes & Noble goes away, like, a great independent bookstore is going to rise up in its place. So I do worry about, I worry about them being gone. I, I think that would be very different. It'd just be a different book shopping environment. A lot of people are working on discovery tools online and there's a ton of startups out there that are saying they're going to solve this problem in some way, help readers learn about, you know, ebooks and new authors in online. We haven't seen like any major success there yet, but maybe the problem becomes increasingly urgent as it looks as if Barnes & Noble is really in trouble. And maybe Barnes & Noble will be okay, I mean, I hope it will. Um, but even so, there's like a role for those startups. I mean, someone's got to figure that out too.